So, progress. Unfortunately, as I said, uh, everything is a little bit expired and a bit rotten and for there, dead links and such. For this P3 Linux kernel things and such, using the only backup mirror of some kernel patches did not result in a bootable kernel for me with this other OS++ and um, such. So I actually ended up burning this red ribbon P3 Linux for the kernels in Enid RD and thanks God I could use them to directly boot my hard disk. So for the time being I use this working, what was it, 3.12 I think, 3.12.6 red ribbon something. Um, so I'm using this as a only usable kernel in it RD snapshot right now until I figure out what changes are needed because with other OS++ Linux is now running in the game OS partition of the hypervisor and has slightly different and more access rights. Next I wanted to finish rsyncing the rest that I did not network sync the other day to save a little bit time. So we now plug this in natively here and rsync the remaining things. This power supply of this external hard disk thing probably approaches end of life somehow. So it's not only not powering defect drives, it's also not powering totally fine drives. So I have a lab power supply here attached for keeping the hard disk alive. Lab power supply. And um, next I probably also have to buy some new set of external USB 3 capable thing. It's drawing 300. It's drawing 300 amps from the the power supply for some reason. Today the font is really small but I only replicate from the other day the loopback mounting with this offset for the old P3 partition. Ah, 512. Ah, what a shit. So we should have synced everything. Do we sync this old? Okay, let's sync home first. So this will take a while. This is mostly only to preserve everything uh, we had there. There were also home directories from other users and hopefully the sources that I also right now don't find on the internet for this hardware accelerated X server. I don't think this will just work because this was for a security hole in the old official other OS hypervisor. This will for sure not just work. However, I have hopes that it can be made working hopefully with not too much modifications. Because obviously I don't want to spend uh, whole nights and weeks debugging this hypervisor stuff. But let's see how it's going. And um, also I could not compile the kernel from source, which I anyway prefer for security reasons anyway. Who knows what is in this red ribbon Linux stuff. But uh, that's what it is now, unfortunately. But then we also have to make PS3 Linux great again and figure out what kind of changes are necessary. Because one thing I read that the boot mem size is smaller in this game OS partition and also uh, maybe there is something with the device tree or something. Anyway, we will have to figure that out now that we have the base stuff working and booting with this custom firmware. We have plenty of time this year to play around with this and figure it out. And um, you can also leave in the comments below whether you like this short daily workshop kind of video post or if you prefer more polished review content. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something and don't forget to subscribe for plenty of more of those videos to come.